Hello guys, welcome to another tutorial. This time we're fixing a Altex Atomic A10 model. It has a buzzing inside, it has some kind of weirdness in the mainboard. So it's a humming noise, it's a low background noise coming inside from the transformer. To put the mic for you to hear the noise. So for home it's a perfect subwoofer, you don't need more power than this, it has I think 350 watts, it auto casts the power when it, it doesn't send any signal through the RCA, it auto goes into the standby mode, you have also high level out, high level in, and you can cross over between 40 hertz and 160 hertz, and also you can feed another subwoofer, through the out line out so guys watch this tutorial and see how we can fix this nice subwoofer to eliminate the background noise so let's begin now guys this is the board and the problem is that this transformer is too near to this main board and you got to distance it. So you have here two clips, just cut them down and release these wires. And in the left side, you got to put bigger wires. To move this transformer, you will take out these four screws here and take out this transformer and you will mount it inside to have a big space or a big distance between the main board and the transformer. So let's begin the process of mounting bigger wires. So these are the wires and we have thermocontractable tape. I think the length is enough. I also use a little bit of isolator band. So uh, now let's see, let's string up. Get nice and tight. And that's it. Now in the place where the transformer was initially, I uh, screw back the wall screws and with a glue gun, I will try to put some glue to have perfectly sealed every screw. So guys, this metal plate holds the transformer or should I say hold the transformer before and uh, it had another purpose, which is uh, the cooling of the transformer because you use this side to transfer the heat, some heat to take this metal plate. Well, we got to make a heat dissipation for this transformer. So the heat dissipation, we will use a radiator, a cooler radiator and, and some thermal paste, which we will put on this copper with two metal wires without any plastic. I don't have the time uh, to make a special support or something, but with two wires, metal wires, you can uh, attach the cooler to the transformer. And inside, you know, no one looks inside the subwoofer. It's not anesthetic. So let's begin the process. I don't know if you can hear it, but I will try to put the microphone to for you to hear the buzzing sound. And when it's night, guys, believe me, you will hear it. Even if it uh, has seven minutes until uh, it will self go into the standby mode, auto standby mode. It's, uh, it's annoying because you will hear it. The problem is that this uh, big transformer is too near to these uh, capacitors. If we'll put somewhere else inside the subwoofer, inside the case, this transformer, you will cut off this background noise with 70% so it, it you will leave somewhere a little small buzz but you cannot hear it you have to get really close with your ear next to the evacuation air evacuation hole or to the speaker himself so let's begin the process so i uh, connected the radiator it's not rocket science what i did between the radiator and the transformer it's thermal paste it's secured, it doesn't get loose, it will, it will not burn because it's pure metal without any plastic. And the contacts, I like that this manufacturer of these transformers, these contacts are really protected. This is 220 volts 
and are real nice isolated underneath this protection and I think this is also has a purpose of cooling down the transformer but the important the important part is this one because that air evacuation hole will be real near to this radiator and it will cool down the transformer so this is important so guys this is how we mount the transformer into the wall so we have the air evacuation on the radiator it will do his job it's really tight now the wires are a little bit tense but this is not important it has some somewhere of freedom it's important the wires not touching anything or vibrate the wires and the connections are made well and on this side up here up we have tightened up the wires the excess wires i don't think will vibrate now let's make a test and uh, here now it's turned on it's in power mode let's film the power here so we have a led right there the power is on from the speaker we don't have any buzz just listen So from the speaker, the buzzing is completely gone. What it remained is that transformer, it emits a small sound. You cannot hear this buzzing even in the night and you cannot get rid of it. But it's not important. You got to get yourself with the ear really close to this hole to hear it. So this is not the point. The point is uh not disturbing you in the music and when you watch movies because that buzzing even if you are watching movies at a low volume you can hear that buzzing inside the subwoofer so now the background noise it's at minimum now what we must do is put the driver inside and my only worries is uh, i don't know what temperature it will reach that transformer but i I think the Velcro inside will not have problems. So guys, I don't know if you saw, but I made a mistake when testing. A wire got loose from the driver. So now the subwoofer is mounted in on auto position, but in standby. And let's see, let's test. So you can hear it. It works. The driver is put because it makes this sound. Okay, and now let's see i want you to hear so the noise is gone it's a small very small buzz got to pay attention and put your ear here to to actually hear it so you can see there the sponges the wires wrapped around in sponge you got to do this procedure and the radiator is exactly on the evacuation hole and uh, will cool down the transformer if, we, if it gets hit up but do not imagine that will cut on fire it will hit somewhere on 40 degrees maybe 50 degrees maximum so guys another improvement for this subwoofer is to find some sponge and you have you will have wires inside you will have some wires and it's important those wires to wrap the sponge on them for the air when it evacuates get in and out to not to hit those uh, wires and those wires especially not to touch any surface and this is why it's uh, best to wrap, wrap them uh, inside this sponge and i took out that net of the subwoofer it blocks the air now the air ventilates better that radiator i put inside and also give the bass more accurate and uh, for the humming and for the humming guys you can try i didn't put professional cables or these cables you can if you have a better rca you can put some better rca 
Another trick to this subwoofer guys is that face not to be on 0 degrees, it must be on 180 degrees and it distributes even the sound better in your room. This is another trick to get rid of the hamming, you can try it. And another trick is the position. Don't put the position, for example I have in my back the couch, yeah? Don't put the subwoofer with the face fronting you. Turn it back or turn it. You know, I turn it like this. I put it in the space in the corner of the room and I cannot hear the humming anymore, especially when it goes into the off position. Now you cannot hear at night when you are sleeping at all those that buzzing. So this is another secret for this subwoofer and also you can try, I put some sponges, it's not very elegant, it's only for the example for you, you can put some sponges on the sustaining legs of the subwoofer. You can find a decent round sponge and you can cut it like you want and put it here to have a decent aspect so i hope you like this tutorial guys i hope we helped you thumbs up if you like this video if we help you with uh, this product i recommend you this subwoofer it's uh it's very fine for your house it's powerful and uh, you don't need more powerful than this it's uh, quite of heavy it's not light it's not a light subwoofer it's not big as dimensions you can fit it in the corner somewhere but don't look for small subwoofers if you want uh, amplitude in your uh, sound. You got to have some uh, room inside this box to generate a good clean sound. I'm referring to the bass without distortions. So subscribe that button guys because we have a lot of tutorials and reviews. Have a great day guys. See you. Bye.